Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how to restore your Daedalus wallet. Restoration occurs when either you lose your computer, you know, you have a new computer, you need to download Daedalus on another on another PC or another Mac, whatever the case may be. If you need to restore your wallet, you can do so in a pretty quick and easy fashion. So we're going to take the Phil PA wallet that I created yesterday. And I'm going to link my previous video of the Daedalus install. And we're going to quickly delete the wallet and then restore it. I'm not going to reinstall Daedalus because I already have it on my computer, but I technically I could delete Daedalus and then reinstall it and then restore my wallet. But that, I don't think that's necessary for now. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the settings button and go ahead and delete the wallet. You have to put in your name. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and now we're going to restore a wallet. Add wallet. We're going to restore the wallet. Okay, and I'm gonna put my backup recovery phrase. I'm gonna blur this out. Going ahead, go ahead and put a spending password. Gonna hit click restore wallet. And as you can see, the restoration process is in effect. Welcome back everyone. So the wallet has restored. Two hours later, we have the send, we have the receive. Everything is back to normal. So it took approximately two hours in order to restore the wallet. I'm gonna include my specs again, but this was it. So once again, this is how you restore your wallet. If you lose your computer or you're getting a new computer, you wanna put Daedalus on it, you want to restore that particular wallet, or you just want to delete and forget about Daedalus for now and come back in six months or I don't advise that, but you know, you can always install any version of Daedalus in the future and then just restore your wallet. Of course, it's going to take some time. It's got to recover it from the blockchain, but this is what you can do. If you want to live with inside this ecosystem, I highly recommend that you create as many wallet addresses as possible. Like you can have a Phil PA groceries wallet, a Phil PA long term wallet, a Phil PA short term wallet, Phil PA wallet for a TV, multiple different wallets because the network is going to become more and more decentralized as the number of addresses increases and you're really helping to 
make the make the ecosystem as strong as possible so it's not a bad thing to create more wallets and have different wallets for different purposes as you can see you can create a wallet at any time so once again this is a restore video please let me know if you have any questions comments or concerns please like comment and subscribe and until the next video thank you